On August 26th, we lost a very good friend in Ty Moore. He was the owner of Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters. Ty was a kind and generous person and went out of his way to do good things for other people to show his appreciation back to the youth, the veterans, and his friends and family. Ty's going to be missed very much. We love you, Ty. So, the deer ought to have about anything they're going to want back here. They just got to find it and show up. Hi, I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV, and as I say every year, and I can't wait to say it every year, it's finally that time of year again. Time to start the semi-live weekly online episodes. This week's show is just going to be a little montage of everybody's activity this past winter, spring, and uh, summer on what they did with trail cams, food plots, 
and just you know some some video of bucks and velvet and stuff just to kind of catch you up on what guys are seeing what we're looking at coming into this year and actually today is just the second time i've been able to get out and check my trail cams they've been sitting out for uh for weeks now so i'm excited to look at those and you'll see what it, what uh what i find on those also to give you a rundown what to look forward this season with the online show is we're looking at hunting of course in our home states of new york kansas arkansas south dakota and then also um, i'm making a trip to kansas ohio and we are going to illinois back to skill fork outfitters as well and of course ohio is with ohio trophy buck outfitters so a lot to look forward there a lot to look forward to there and um can't wait to for deer season to get here it's literally just a couple weeks away now and um the anticipation is mounting pretty much every single day everyone's been out shooting their bows doing trail cam stuff and uh one of these episodes here either this week or or next week i'm gonna wind up throwing in <clears throat> just a little quick real fast recap of last year's activity of you know what we got and uh, if you missed last year's recap episode the very last one of the season there's a nice little music video at the end of it to kind of thank everybody and that's involved it takes quite a lot of guys to put something together like this and i know it takes a lot of time from them it also takes a ton of time to edit it and get it going and keep the website up and, and uh, every monday bring you these these episodes but can't wait to get it started let's uh get to showing you some stuff i just spent about two hours walking some woods um nice bedding area and every year i like to just take the atv and drive around the field edges you know deer in the winter time spend a lot of time on these fields eating and i found this but i just came across this one here this is a buck i'm pretty sure i got trail cam pictures of him uh, from this past year, so he's one we'll be watching for next year. He'll be a pretty good buck. All right, it's June 29th. Uh, me and Griffin are coming out today. We're going to go disc up or chisel plow and then till up a little bit of our clover where it's the clover's not very good there. We're going to put some beans in. So we'll have corn, beans, clover, and then a mixture of like turnips and wheat. So the deer ought to have about anything they're going to want back here. They just got to find it and show up.
on top of the hill here in the in the bean plot and we've just been kind of driving around grabbing some trail camera cards and thinking of how we're getting going to get these deer that we're finding on the cards i've got two that i'm after this year and he's got three um, that he'll be chasing so what's that first one you had curly yeah well the first one i have <clears throat> i'm going to be chasing after uh his name's curly uh he's got a a, a weird right side it goes kind of straight up and then this beam kind of curls in. Uh, I'd figure he's probably a two and a half year old. He's a younger buck. Um, I don't know what he's going to look like in hard horns, but you know, it's something to, something to see once season comes around. Uh, I got a picture of a pretty decent buck earlier in the year and he's uh, showed up a few more times. I call him the trash man. Uh, he's got a typical right side. On his left side, it's kind of bladed, and he's got a bunch of junk on his uh, left brow tine. That's a pretty unique buck, and uh, real big tines too. Yeah. Long. The right side's typical, and it's it's long. Yeah. Long. Yeah. And then the so, left side, it just looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm track. excited excited to get after that buck. I've seen him uh, a couple of times um, in the backfield, and I've gotten him on trail cameras, so he's been pretty regular. And then. Of course, the one that I'm most excited about is the Iron Man. Uh, I got pictures of him in Hardhorn last year, uh, later in the year, and then probably about two weeks ago when I checked cameras um, up on the farm, I got another picture of him in Velvet, and he has just grown into an absolute stud. Uh, yeah, he poses. He poses for the camera. He pumps out his chest and everything. He absolutely does, and he's probably the number one hit list buck that I'm going to be after. If I can get an eye on him, I'd, it'd, it'd be awesome. Um, but other than that, uh, just looking forward to the year. Like I said, we have a few bucks that we're going to be going after. I got three this year that's on my hit list that I'd like to get a peek at. And uh, hopefully I can get one down this year. It's been a few years stagnant with the bow. So, And then, of course, uh, Randy's got a few bucks that he's going to be after here. Yeah, I've got one pictures right off the bat in this spring in Velvet. Um, he was visiting a scrape site uh, kind of repeatedly. And I seen a picture. And he was walking away, and I didn't think of anything of it. And the next time I looked through it, I realized that there was a rack sticking out. It wasn't a tree behind him. It was his rack. Real real wide, uh, real tall. And uh, then one of the evenings, I got a new camera this year. I was trying it out, trying to zoom out. And way in the back of the field, up on its way to the uh, food plot, there's another one. Uh, real nice eight. Not quite as long a time, but, but just miles wide. And uh, so I'm calling the first one this deer and the second one that deer. That way, unique. <laughs> I can either be after this deer or that deer, one, one of the two. Um, and then there's another one I'm just going to keep my eye on this year. It looks cool. It's the first one I've seen up here that had anything, you know, irregular coming off of it. And I think it's it's only a seven point, but it's got a it's got a little sticker coming right off of its base. It sticks out almost like a little unicorn or rhinoceros. Yeah, I think you actually got pictures of them last year. At we had a buck last year that we were getting pretty good pictures of, and it went straight up. Uh, the and antelope. we called him the antelope buck. And I'm I'm thinking possibly it could be that buck, but like you said, it's it's a really unique buck, and uh, it'd be cool to see him. Also, whether we shoot him or not, you know, you never know. But uh, and definitely, and and just uh, a few days ago, we were up here and just kind of checking progress. And I had showed showed James that morning. It's the first picture I've ever got of a bear up here. I've heard there's lots up here, but first one I got on camera. And so we're up here and about 20, probably 25 feet into the brush. Uh, we must have disturbed the cub and it started bawling for mama bear and we got out of Dodge. Yeah. But, so that was a little freaky, but I mean, right behind, right behind where we are now. Yeah. Yep. Might still be there. Never know. So uh, it's late August now. August 25th, I believe, and uh, we're gonna start getting at it. We got some tree stands that we got to get hung. Uh, of course, we're gonna, you know, keep checking the trail cams, and if anything else pops up, we'll be sure to let you guys know. Um, 2014 is looking like it should be a pretty good year for us, and uh, hopefully we can wax them, and you guys will see it on DeerHunterFan.com. Bring on the taxi, Mr. Bill. Yes, sir. When you're setting trail cams, don't be afraid to get creative if you're in an area without a tree suitable to do it. Here, it's all goldenrod and berry briars high. You put a camera down low on a tree, you're gonna have to mull us down to get any pictures. So this one here, I put up in a tree. 
angle it downward a little bit works good anything 10 15 out to about 20 yards away on this trail you'll get a picture of it DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Bee Stinger, Gold Tip, Insane Archery, Ridge Runners Guide Service, Spy Points Excel Camera, Longhorn Fat Shop, Muddy Outdoors, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Strutters, Vapor Trail, and also by these fine sponsors.